so what's up everybody so as you can see here I am obviously doing a neck strap comparison for you guys I had some people ask me questions about the neck strap that I was using and what would I recommend so first up is this cannonball one this is the one that actually comes with the saxophone and as you can see it's very prototypical of what you would expect of a neck strap there are some things about it that I don't like and mainly it's this hook here, which is plastic. Every time I've ever had a plastic hook like this, it's broken. It is very easy to adjust while you're playing, but you also get the neck constriction because it all comes down to a single focal point. So this one is free. When you buy pretty much any kind of saxophone, you're gonna get something very similar to something like this. I never use this and I would have just thrown it away, but I decided to just keep it just for making a video like this. So let's move on. Okay, so next up I have this ProTech neck strap. And as you can see, this hook here is metal, which is great because I will only ever play a neck strap that has a metal hook. And as you can see, we have this innovative feature where you have these two strands that are coming down to these two separate points instead of a single focal point which is taking a lot of unnecessary pressure off of your neck and for the neck part you can see that it's padded with a little divider that's right there this is my backup neck strap if I show you this from this angle you can see it has Protec right there and as far as a drawback, it's still something that's dangling across your neck. Even though it's padded and more comfortable than the standard thing, I think there's still some room for improvement as far as just keeping the pressure off of your neck. And this is a BG neck strap, if you can even call it that. It's more of a saxophone harness. You can see we have these bands here. If I turn this around, we have the adjustable straps that are here. BG logo there. We have this metal hook, which I like. We have some more adjustable straps here that you can fit it for size. So with this strap, uh, this is my main one, but it definitely has its drawbacks. And one of which is being able to adjust it while you're playing. It's always a bit clunky. And also I will show you, but if you are a full figured person in the chest area, then I imagine that you might find this to be a bit uncomfortable. So here's your standard neck strap. You can see it's very easy to adjust. However, you get this massive amount of constriction right around the neck area. And I never use a strap like this. Here we have the ProTech one. You can see how this weight is spread out here, comes down, you got some nice padding in the neck. This one is also relatively easy to adjust while you're playing, being able to adjust that on the fly, got your metal hook here. And as you can see with this harness here, this one is a bit more cumbersome to put on, make sure everything is lined up correctly, put that over. And the biggest issue that I have with this strap is being able to adjust it on the fly. I have to pull here, adjust on this side, pull here again, adjust on the other side, all with the horn hanging. So being able to adjust this neck strap or harness on the fly is actually quite cumbersome. And as you can see how this splits the chest area, if you're figured in this area, and I imagine that you might find this cumbersome. This is the one that I actually use the most. This is my main strap that I use. So when I'm playing doubles, because this one is so complex to adjust on the fly and I have to play alto and tenor, I usually just throw both of these on like this. So if you're looking for some neck straps, I hope it's able to give you some really good and decent information. So thanks for tuning in. See ya.